A lot of the focus for the Jets this offseason is on the offensive line. We've looked at free agency. We're looking at the draft as potential options for us. But we also have the trade market. So should the Jets trade for Pro Bowl left tackle Trent Williams? J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below for my mock draft contest. It's just the first round. You can enter as many different mock drafts as you'd like, and you can change your mock drafts right up until the draft. I think maybe a day before is when it locks. And I'm going to be giving away prizes for first, second, and third. So if you feel so inclined, have fun with that down below. Connor Hughes of The Athletic, one of my favorite reporters for the New York Jets, has come out and said that multiple league sources believe that the Jets are in talks with the Washington Redskins to figure out if they can get a deal done with Trent Williams. Now, there's going to be multiple teams involved in this because Trent Williams is a very high-profile player and has been very good in this league for a long time. A little bit of backstory on him. He's 32 years old. He has gone to seven consecutive Pro Bowls. That's 2012 to 2018. He did not play last year. He sat out all season due to a medical dispute. What happened was they found a tumor in his head. The Redskins staff said that it was not cancerous. You don't have to worry about it. He finds out in the offseason last year that it is cancerous, has surgery to get it removed, and no longer trusts the Washington medical staff. So the whole offseason, he demanded a trade. He did not want to play for the Redskins. He wound up not playing for the Redskins at all, and the Redskins did not want to trade him. They did not allow him to seek a trade. That has changed in the last week or so. They have given Trent Williams permission to go out and seek a trade partner. Now, it should be noted that <laughs> this guy is absolutely incredible. From 2012 to 2018, the guy was rock solid. Jets need a left tackle. We saw Sam Darnold get pummeled this past year, and I've said it before, the Jets' offensive line was historically bad. They are one of three offensive lines in the 100-year history to have 50-plus sacks and less than 3.5 yards per carry. So if you thought you saw really bad offensive line play last year, it's because you did, <laughs> and the Jets could use the help of Trent Williams. There's going to be a few issues with this, and I'm not on board. I am totally against this move. I would not make this move at all. You're going to have to trade for him. It's rumored that the Redskins want a first-round pick. Most teams believe they're not going to get a first-round pick. But even if you have to give up a second-round pick, I am totally out of this market. I do not want to touch him. He's 32 years old. He has not played a complete 16-game schedule since 2013. So you're not even getting him for like a full calendar year. Williams has one year left on his deal, and the team that trades for him is going to take on a cap hit of $12.5 million for that last year of his contract. He's going to want more guaranteed money, so you're going to have to extend this 32-year-old player if you want him to play, because chances are he's just not going to uh, <laughs> he's not going to play. He wants to get the guaranteed money. That was the biggest issue. He didn't want to play with the head injury, with the tumor, without having guaranteed money, and you can't really blame the guy. But... Do you want to bring that into the New York Jets team? Like, I get that he was really good, but if he's not going to play a full 16-game schedule, he wants more guaranteed money, we should be getting younger at this position anyway. I don't want to give up a draft pick for this, especially if it's a second-round pick. A third-round pick, probably don't even want to touch for that. I would give up a fourth, and that is, you know, way lower than what the Redskins are going to be willing to take. I'm sure there's a team out there that will give up more than what I am willing to give up for the Jets. So don't think that I believe his trade value should be a fourth. I just think for our team, it should be a fourth. Something to note, the health and medical issues that he had with the Washington Redskins. The Jets had a lot of these issues last year with players. Quincy Anunua and uh, Kalichi Osemele both had issues with the Jets medical staff, and it was not good. It was really ugly for the majority of the season. So I cannot see a realistic situation where Trent Williams looks at the Jets and says, hey, I like the way your medical team handled those guys. Let's work out a deal. So aside from the injury risks and the the odd moving pieces involved here, I don't think this fit makes any sort of sense for the New York Jets. I will say this, though. There is a very, very interesting aspect to this that I think could benefit the Jets in a huge way. Now, I've said that the Jets need to go left tackle. I would like them to go after Beecham or Jason Peters on a one-year contract because you don't know who's going to be available at 11. I do want to take a tackle at 11 regardless, but I do think we need to hedge our bets a little bit and have someone at least on the roster so we're not pigeonholed into a player that we may not like. But what's interesting, I believe that Trent Williams is going to go to the Cleveland Browns, and here's why. Bill Callahan, the Jets' former offensive line coach during the early years of the Rex era, where we went to the championship games and everything like that, is currently the offensive line coach for the Cleveland Browns. Bill Callahan was also the offensive line coach for the Washington Redskins for four years 
of Trent Williams' career. Most recently, 2015, 16, 17, 18, and then he was the assistant head coach last year uh, when you know they had all the moving pieces over there. So I could see Trent Williams liking Bill Callahan and wanting to go reunite with him in Cleveland. Interesting enough, Cleveland is in desperate need for a left tackle, and they're picking one slot ahead of the Jets at number 10 in this NFL draft. So if the Browns were to trade for Trent Williams, there is a really, really high likelihood that they are going to extend him on a contract and will not be taking a left tackle at number 10, which means one more good offensive lineman will fall down to the Jets. So if I'm the Jets, I don't touch this with a 10-foot pole. I hope that the Browns jump all in on this and we get our left tackle of the future through the draft. Guys, let me know what you think of everything down below in the comments. And as always, go Jets. Yeah!